In this problem, it asks us to find the next three terms in each sequence, identify the constant difference, and then write a recursive and an explicit function for the sequence. Assume that the first term in the sequence is the one term in the equivalent table. So if I had a table, I would say that one goes with four, two goes with 15, three goes with 26, etc. And the thing that I need to know is the zero term. The zero term in this case, I have to figure out because I'm gonna use that in my explicit function. And the thing that I'm gonna use in both functions is the difference. So 15 minus four is 11. So 11 is the common difference. So I can say 48 plus 11 is 59. 59 plus 11 is 70. 70 plus 11 is 81. The common difference is 11. If it was getting smaller, I'd put a negative. For the recursive function and the explicit function, I both start with f of x, but in this case, it says n. So f of n just means my function's name is gonna be f, and the number I would plug in would be n. For a recursive function, we use this term right here called f of n minus one. f of n minus one is basically a word that means the previous number on our table. So f of n minus one tells us that we're looking at the previous number. You can think of it as a word. And then we have to add 11 to the previous number. So that's our recursive function. To find an explicit function, we start with term zero and we take a common difference. So we would say our common difference is 11. And then every time we add 11, so 11 is our rate of change. It goes next to our letter. And then we add the number we start with. Well, we need to figure that out. So if our common difference is 11, we're gonna go back 11 from four. So we're gonna do four minus 11 to go backwards on our table. Four minus 11 is like 11 minus four, but we keep the negative because it's the sign of the higher number. So you could say 11n plus negative seven, but it's probably a little bit more efficient just to say 11n minus seven.